Let's take a look at lazy loading our components inside of Ionic 3. So I have a blank project here that I've opened with Ionic Serve. And now I'm going to open this up inside of my editor. And we'll start off by deleting the home page because we can either convert this to a lazy loaded page or we can delete it and recreate it. So let's delete the folder named home inside of our pages folder. We can then generate the home page again by saying Ionic generates page home. As you can see, we've generated a page named home. And if we take a look back inside of our pages, we now have this home module.ts. And it's important to make the distinction inside of the home module between this Ionic page module and this Ionic module, which we'll be importing in our components. Whenever we want to create a so-called page, we will import this Ionic page module and we'll push it down for child, like so, by saying Ionic page module for child home page. This will turn our home page into a Ionic page in which we can then add this Ionic page decorator to our page. We'll take a look at this distinction in a moment when we come to create a component and a few other different pages. So let's start off by making another page. We can generate a page, but this time we can call it about. And inside of our home.html, we will have a button that will link us to the about page. So let's add the ion button attribute. I'm gonna also add clear and block. When somebody clicks this, we will navigate to about page and the text of our button will simply say about. Inside of our home page, we can write that function, navigate to about page, and we can say this dot nav control dot push. And then as you can see, it requires a page string or a page page. So when we're not using lazy loading, we could say about page and import the about page from about slash about. Or alternatively, when we are using lazy loading, we can add this as a string. And the reason that this works is because we have this Ionic page module for child, and we also have this decorator here, the Ionic page decorator. Let's take a look at this in action. So if we click about, we navigate to the about page as expected. Notice that we haven't added the about page to our declarations or entry components. And at the moment, we are not lazy loading the home page as we have it added to the declarations and entry components. So let's convert that to a lazy loaded page by removing it from declarations and removing it from entry components. Let's also remove the import here. And then inside of our app component, we can also remove the import once again and say that our root page is a string and that string is home page. So if we've done everything correctly, we should have the same response as before. If we navigate to that home page, like so. And then if we select about, we can navigate to the about page, but both pages are lazy loaded. So that's how we lazy load a page. But what if we want to lazy load a component? Well, there's a couple of ways in which we can do that. We can have something called a shared component module or alternatively, we can have a singular module per component. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna generate some components. Let's pretend that our application is a restaurant application and perhaps our homepage has a list of different meals. So we'll have a list of different cards and the about page is the about page of the restaurant. So in both scenarios, we'll be making a card based component and we'll firstly start off by generating the menu list. So let's make a component with Ionic generate component menu list. As you can see, it's generated a component named the menu list component with the selector of menu list. Let's try and add this to our home.html. So that's our home page. We should be able to say menu list. But if we save this and because we're using the Angular language service, we get this red underline. It says that the menu list is not a known element. And if we try and run this in the browser, it won't work. As you can see, we have this error that our menu list is not known to Angular. So we have to import the menu list. 
But if we go ahead and we add this to the app module, you can see that it's been added to the main app module as a declaration. But because our homepage has not added this to its module, it can't see the menu component. So what we want to do is remove this from the initial list of declarations. Because when we're lazy loading, we only want to load the component when necessary. We don't want to load the component when it's not necessary. And inside of our home.module.ts, we can import the menu list module. And I'm going to rename the menu list.module.ts from menu list component module to menu list module. So let's import that component like so. If we now take a look inside of our application, we get hello world from our menu list component. And that's because what we've done is we've stated to the homepage module that we want to use the menu list module. And the way that this works is that declares the menu list component and it also exports the menu list component. If we were to remove the export, this would not make the menu list component available to other modules. So we'd have this issue again, where it would say menu list is not a known element. So in our modules, we have to both declare the components and export the component. Let's now head over to our about page and inside of the about page, we want to make an about component. So let's do that again by ionic generate component about. And if you remember, in order to get this inside of our about module, I'm going to rename this to about module. And what I'm going to do is add the imports to about module. And perhaps we could pick better names if we're in production. We should now be able to access that about component. And in order to do that, we'd have to first remove this from our declarations because it's automatically added when we generate the component. But if we now select about, we can see our component inside of the about page. So that's one way of displaying the components. You'd have to remember to import only the modules that you need. For example, if we wanted to display the menu list inside of our about page, we'd have to also import the menu list module before we could do that. This would then give us access to the menu list inside of the about page would look something like that. And then inside of our about page, we'd see two hello worlds, one for the menu list and one for the about. Let's rename this for now. So our about would simply say about and our menu list would say menu list. So now you can see on the homepage, we have menu list. And if we click about, we have about and menu list. Now this way of adding these modules to our pages is a good way to lazy load our components as we only get the components that we want. Let's say we decided that we no longer want this menu list module inside of our about page module. We could simply remove it and it would disappear from our component. We wouldn't be importing the JavaScript to do with that module because we don't need to. We don't want it anymore inside of the about component. So we'd remove it from our ion content and only have about, and it would work as intended. There's another way of lazy loading our components, and this is by using a shared module. And in order to do that, we'd have to first remove our menu list module and also the about module for our component. Like I said, in production, we'd rename this. And instead, what we'd have is a components dot module dot ts and we would build a module like so we would start off by importing our about component from about dot component like so we would declare our about component and we'd also export the component so we'd export about component we'd also do the same for our menu list component we declare it as well. And instead of calling this the about module, which looks like it's being called, we would call this the component module. So then if we wanted to use our components, for example, inside of our home.html, if we wanted to use menu list, we no longer could because we deleted that module. But instead, we'd import the components module. 
And by doing that, we have access to the menu list once again. And we'd have to fix the about.module.ts to remove the link to the about module. And we'd also have to add the components module to the about page module. And the final thing to do is import the Ionic module from Ionic Angular. We can add this to the list of imports. And if we take a look at our application, you might have to restart Ionic Serve, but now we have the menu list and the about and menu list, but we're using a shared module. You will notice though that we only have one bundle coming across here, and this contains the about component, the menu list component, and our two pages. But if we were to put this back to being singular modules and only importing the components that we need, it would be different bundles. So depending on the size of your application and some other factors, you should consider the style of lazy loading that you want to use. If you have a substantial amount of components, then to be honest, the best way would be a singular module. If you only have a few and you want to keep things simple by only importing the components module, then use a shared module. But if the size of the bundle coming down the network is of absolute importance, then of course use individual modules. So this has been an example of lazy loading your components with feature modules and shared modules inside of your Ionic applications.